You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Lindsay versus Dan and Brink. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Ms. Lindsay, you say that after years of lies from your mother and uncertainty about who your father is, you believe you finally found him. Yes, Your Honor. You say everyone in town, including his family, knows Mr. Dannenbrink is your father and you intend to prove that today. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Mr. Dannenbrink. Yes, Your Honor. You admit to having a sexual relationship with Ms. Lindsay's mother, but say there is no way you're her biological father. That's right, Your Honor. I met her and uh, we just had like a hit and run situation. Uh, she disappeared on me and then we got back together again and... A couple of days later, she went, went her way, and it just kept on for years that way. And there's no way she could be my daughter, Your Honor. So, Ms. Lindsay, wh what do you mean everyone in town knows that he's your father? What do you mean well, by Your that? Honor, okay, so uh, about 35 years ago, my mom does admit to having a child with Mr. Danabrink. And... Um, How many years ago? About 35, around okay. there. Okay. And... When I was about 16 years old, an ex of Mr. Bedana Brinks came to my house and accused me of being the child that they had had together. And when I had asked my mother about that, she told me no, that it wasn't true. You were 16? Yes. And an ex of Mr. Dannenbrinks comes to your house? Yes. And says, you're the child that your mother had with Mr. Dannenbrink? Yes, Your Honor. In other words, the ex thinks you're the child that came in between... Yes. Her and Mr. Dannenbrink. Yes, Your Honor. When she said this to you, uh -huh. what did you say? <laughs> well, at first I was like, what? You're wrong. There's no way. And um, I came to my mother and I talked to her about it. And she told me, no, that he was not my father. That um, another man that she had told me was my dad was my dad. She said, this other man is your father, but you'd never met that man. No. I still haven't. So I don't know who that is. Okay. Proceed. So about four or five years ago, we all pretty much met up again in church. And um, I knew that Mr. Danabrink was the person that I had thought, or at least was accused of being the child of. But I was too nervous to approach him for um, pretty much rejection. And so I just left it alone. And then um, my mother and him had started talking again. And we became more close, I guess you would say. Um, we lived right next door to each other and we started having barbecues together and spent a few holidays together and things like that. The man next door, your neighbor. Yes. You believe he's your biological father. Yes. But you've never said anything to him. Not really. Wow. Uh, Miss Hampton. Yes. What was right. the nature of the relationship with Mr. Dan and Brink? Were you just dating, well, committed? Your Honor, this was like in the late 70s. And we dated off and on, and I was involved with somebody else, and he was involved with somebody else. Five years ago, we met back up and started having conversation and uh, platonic relationship. We're best of friends. So, Mr. Dan and Brink, did you know about the pregnancy? I did not, Your Honor. She never told me that she was pregnant. She never told me I even had a child. You didn't Your tell Honor, him you, you, you were Your pregnant? Honor, I had no reason to tell him because he's not the father. So you were confident of that? Yes, I am 100%. But were you sleeping with Mr. Dannenbrink during the window of conception? Not as far as I know. I, I believe that I got pregnant between <laughs> June and July. What are you holding, Ms. Lindsay? I'm holding a calendar. Jerome, will you please hand me her evidence? Thank you. You're welcome. What is this calendar... This outline. Cal this calendar shows, um, for one, the day that I was born. And if you count back, um, if I was born full term, the conception would be between May and June. And um, the doctors did say that I was born um, a month premature, which puts my due date at March 11th, which my mother would be right at that time. However, I had no health problems when I was born. I was born at a normal weight. No, and you, Your Honor, Your Honor, she was born at five and a quarter pounds. All of your was, children have been small. She was premature. Mr. Dannenbrink? Yes, Your Honor. Do you agree with the date set forth on this calendar? I really can't, couldn't tell you because back then it was hectic. I mean, it, it I was, had so much going on. That it was hectic? I, yes. 
It was back in the 70s, so I'm sure you, you understand what... No, I was just a kid <laughs> then, so... <laughs> I did a lot of uh, drugs back then, so I really couldn't tell you. Oh, so hectic has many levels. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, so Honor. physically and mentally hectic. Yes, Your Honor. So is it safe to say there was a lot of sex going on during that time? Yes, Your Honor. Much of which you may not have a full recollection. Correct, Your Honor. How long did your sexual relationship with Miss Hampton last? Uh, we got together. We were together for maybe a couple of weeks, and then she disappeared. And then we meet again a few years later. So it was like that. So you all just were kind of uh, sex partners. Yes. Just Correct, Your Honor. Whatever. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I don't know. What's the word? Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. But were y'all yes. friends? I don't even get the friend part here. Yeah. <laughs> Two weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. Bump and go. Bump and go. Yeah. Okay, Jerome. <laughs> 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 Is that a legal term that we just created we just here created at Paternity yeah. Court? <laughs> okay. So, Ms. Lindsay, your mother's saying that Mr. Dannenbrink is not your biological father. Right. That's what right. leads you to, to just to not believe your mother? The doctors did say that I was born a month early, but they also said that I was going to be a boy the entire time she was pregnant with me. So they could have been wrong. Um, second thing, my mom does admit to having a child with Mr. Danabrink. Um, throughout my life, though, the dates have kind of changed a little bit. Um, I remember at one time it was that she was an older sister. Then I remember at another time she was a younger sister than me. And um, she was still born at birth. Your, your Hold honor. on now. Your honor. Wait a minute. So you're, you, you've been told a story yes. by your mother that she did have a child with Mr. Dannenbrink. Yes. You were told this child passed away. Yes, at birth. Yes. At your birth. Honor. Yes, Your Honor. I had a stillborn. And was that Mr. Dannenbrink's child? Yes, yes Your Honor. She or... never said nothing to me about that. No. So... I admit that. I did not. You never mentioned it to him? No. Miss Lindsay, I'm looking at your face. It doesn't seem like you're believing a lot of your mother's testimony. I don't. Why? She says that she had this child. Um, I've never seen the papers, although I've asked a few times. And on top of that one, I've went to the public um, records place. There's no proof of her birth or death. I don't know why there wouldn't be any record of, of her birth and death, but I do have an autopsy report have you seen this report? No. What I don't understand, Ms. Lindsay, is why would your mother lie about this? Because it's not the first time. <laughs> uh, she didn't technically lie about another brother, but she didn't tell me about another brother. Um, she got pregnant and gave um, him up for adoption. It went through social media that he found me, and I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? You're not my brother. And I called my mom at that time, and I said, um... I have another brother? And she's like, oh, well, I thought he died. And I was like, what? And, um... W wait a minute, it, you thought he died? It was complicated, Your Honor. Um, I had gotten pregnant by a man that was married, not knowing that he was married. The agreement was that he was going to take the baby because I financially and mentally could not handle having another baby. But you thought he had passed away? Yes, Your Honor, because that's what my mother and the doctors had told me. So, Ms. Lindsay, even if we have several stories that lead us to believe maybe your mother is not being completely forthright... Right. Why? What is her motivation? What is the reason why she would lie and say, Mr. Dannenbrink is not your biological father, if he could be? I don't know. I'm not my mom, so I don't know exactly what goes through her head. Um, I have children, and I, I don't lie to any of them, so I don't understand why. Are you, you at would. the point now I... where you just feel like you've caught your mom into so in so many lies that you don't even know yeah, why she lies? You just know she does. No, Your Honor, I don't. So, what was your childhood like growing up? All of these stories. What is this like for you? Um, it, very crazy as a child. Um, I had a big hole and I filled it with a lot of things that probably weren't the right things to fill it with. Um, I'm still searching for that, um, that father figure. Um, I, I had a stepdad at one point that abandoned me as well, so. 
And so you had a relationship. Yes. With your stepfather. For a small time until he had the, his own child with my mom. And then I, I still was the step the stepchild. So. And so you're basically alone in all of this. Kind of, sort of. I mean, I had my friends um, for, for a small time, which is kind of funny. Uh, I had one friend that was like my best friend and mm -hmm. it just happened to be his son. <laughs> Wait, that, that, that could potentially be your brother. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But you all were good friends? Yes. Just friends, I hope. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> that goes through my head, yes. trust and believe me. Oh. Not knowing exactly who my dad is, it does go through my head as to which ones I've dated might have been. So, <laughs> it's, I just try not to think about that. <laughs> wow, yeah. That, I mean, listen. <laughs> You know, we can chuckle about it, but the truth is, if you don't know who your father is... Right. ...you could have dated your brother. Yes. And it's just that simple. Yeah. And so, you have a photo that you've submitted to the court. Yes. That is his son and myself. Do you see a resemblance? A little bit. Just a little? Yeah, because, I mean, I do look like my mom a lot. Mr. Dannenbring, do you see a resemblance? I do not, Your Honor. Okay, so, Ms. Lindsay, what's your relationship like with Mr. Dan and Brink right now? I want to say he's kind of like a father figure to a point. Um, it, we kind of joke about him being my dad and him and me being his daughter. How do you joke about it? Just randomly, like, people will say, oh, you guys look alike or something like that and things like that. Or he'll say, oh, good morning, my beautiful daughter or something. And I've never had that before, so that's good. Does he know your children? Yes. All four of my children, um, they don't have grandpas that are alive. So he has graciously told my children that they're more than welcome to call him grandpa. Oh. That's right. And they do. <laughs> You've submitted a letter to the court mm -hmm. about how much this truly hurts you. Will you please read that letter? Yes, I can. Um, I said, 35 years, I have walked through this life wondering who I am. Um, whose blood runs through me? Who do I look like? Where do I get my eye color from? Where do I get my nose? These are just a few questions that have plagued my mind. The worst ones, though, are the ones that still hurt me. The questions like, why did you leave? Did you even know about me? If you did, would it have even changed anything? And would you have been proud of me? Why was I not good enough? Take your time. Ah, from the moment that I couldn't remember, I've always really wanted just my dad. That was honest and true and real and plain. Yeah. You know, as I sit in this chair day after day, a lot of times people will say, well, it's gone on 30 something years. I mean, why aren't you past this? When I say it was honest and true and simple and plain, because it was, it was the spirit of a child and it is your inner child. It's that child in you that still does not have the pieces to her puzzle as she deserves. And that child is gonna live on and live on and she's gonna want those answers and need those answers. And when you hear those words, mom, does it hurt you to hear? Oh, well, yes, your honor, it does. But I still stand firm that uh, Mr. Dannenbrink is not her dad. And Mr. Dannenbrink, when you heard those words, I see how emotional you are. Yeah. What are you feeling in this moment? I um, don't think she is my daughter, but I'm um, hoping she is. <laughs> That's beautiful. I think it's time for the results, Jerome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Lindsay versus Dannenbrink, when it comes to 35-year-old Bobby Lindsay, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Dannenbrink, you are not her father. Sorry. Sorry. 
It doesn't matter. She's still, I consider her my daughter. How are you feeling, Miss Lindsay? I know this was difficult for you. Confused, but I'm happy at the same time for cl closure on that part. Miss mm. Hampton. Yes, ma'am. I have to ask you, do you know who your daughter's biological father is? I still stand firm that it's another person. He would admit to photographs, because he's seen photographs of, of her through my mother, but physically, he would not admit it. Do you know where he is? No, Your Honor, I don't. Do you have any way to find out? Yes, Your Honor. Time is a very powerful thing. People grow, things happen in life that shift people's perspective. You never know what can happen. I believe you're strong enough to just ask the question. And if he's willing, you can come right back here and we will help you. Thank you. You're very welcome. We have counseling and resources for you all. I wish you the very, very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Yeah.